Hello, we are going to talk about constructivism. What is constructivism? It is a learning theory based on scientific study and observation on how students learn. It shows students learn by constructing their own knowledge by their own experiences. They take what they have previously learned and build upon that knowledge. Constructivism prompts students to formulate their own questions allows for multiple interpretations and expressions of learning, and encourages group work and the use of peer resources. One of the founding theorists of constructivism is Jean Piaget. He is a Swiss professor of psychology and sociology. He concluded that humans learn through the construction of progressively complex logical structures from infancy all the way through adulthood. He believed the modes of thinking of children are completely different than adults. He shaped the foundation for constructivist education. Another founding constructivist theory theorist is John Dewey. He's, he was an American philosopher and educator who worked to change pedagogical methods and curricula. He said, if you have doubts about how learning happens, engage in sustained inquiry. Study, ponder, consider alternative possibilities, and arrive at your belief grounded in evidence. The traditional classroom and the constructivist classroom looks a little differently. Instead of student, students listening to the teacher give them information, they are actively involved in their learning. The teacher is more of a facilitator who coaches and mediates, prompts and helps students develop and assess their understanding. Teachers ask students good questions. In the traditional classroom, curriculum begins with the big parts of the whole. And in the constructive classroom, Curriculum emphasizes big concepts, beginning with the whole and expanding to include the parts. In traditional classroom, there's strict adherence to fixed curriculum, and in the constructive classroom, pursuit of student questions and interest is valued. Traditional learning is based on repetition. In constructivism, Learning is interactive, building on what the student already knows. In traditional learning, the teacher delivers information to the students while the students are recipients of the knowledge. Teachers in the constructivist um, classroom, teachers have a dialogue with students, helping students construct their own knowledge. In traditional learning, the teacher's role is directive and rooted in authority. But in the constructivist classroom, teachers' role is interactive, rooted in negotiation. In the traditional learning, assessments are evaluated through testing, while in constructivism, assessments include student work, observations, and points of view, as well as tests. Process is as important as product. In the traditional learning, knowledge is seen as passive, while in constructivism, knowledge is seen as dynamic, ever-changing with our experiences. Um, in traditional classrooms, students primarily work alone, while in constructivism, students primarily work in groups. Next, we're going to talk about the PAR model. PAR stands for Present, Apply, Review. In the present phase, student is presented with new knowledge, concepts, skills, theories, explanations. This could be video, reading written material, peer explaining, students discovering for themselves, jigsaw puzzles, other things. In the apply phase, Students carry out an activity that applies what they previously learned. It makes learning visible to the student. This could be question and answer, case study, exercises and examples, or comparing own work with others. 
Then in the review phase, key points are confirmed and emphasized with explanations that link the new learning with former learning, strengthens the links that will be used during recall. This leads to how can we use this? This is a scenario that we can use the present apply review model. If I was teaching a social studies class and I wanted my students to learn about different cultures, I could assign a project to them. In the present phase, the teacher will give directions on how to complete the assignment. Students are broken into groups and together the students choose which culture they want to learn about. They can then research that culture using books, internet searches, and other resources to learn more about the culture. During the next phase, the apply phase, Students will produce a presentation together in their group to show the class about what they learned. The students present the information to the class and this gives the class a chance for discussion. Students can ask questions on the culture that they chose um, and all students then learn about each different culture. For the review phase, the class can go over all of the presentations. The teacher can have the students then paraphrase three cultures that they did not research but learn from other students. They will have a chance to have a copy of all students' presentations so that they can make sure that they do learn about all the cultures. This will also be their assessment and their teacher can evaluate what the students learn. And this is a little bit about constructivism. These are my resources that I used, and these are my image resources. Thank you.